Okay, we got a full battery and empty memory, uh, and I've laid everything out as best I can, and I'm going to try and build this battery holder in one take as quickly as possible. So, let's go. So like I said, this is for me an exercise in how well can I plan ahead. So I made the cut on the first support block and used it to measure the remaining two. Made those cuts on the chop saw. And I already had the fence set to one dimension. Made the cut, moved it to the second dimension, made the second cut, and a sip of beer. And then it had a little bit of gunk on it, so quick hit with the random orbital sander takes care of that. And then we'll fly across the room over to the bandsaw for the next series. Now I already tilted the table on the bandsaw to the correct dimension when I needed to make these angled cuts. Get kind of hung up on the throat plate here, uh, so I'll have to make an adjustment to that. So we get the first one done, the second one goes a little bit smoother, and the third just as well now that I know about that throat plate issue. And we'll fly back over to the assembly area. I'll select the three pieces of the six that look the best. And I'll use my wood glue CA trick. If you guys don't use this yet, you really should. Just wood glue for strength, CA to make it stick in place while you are able, while that dries. So you're able to flip it over without having those pieces fall off. So I'll get all three of those put in place. And I'm gonna pre-drill all six of those holes, and then while I have the drill out, I'll measure and pre-drill the four mounting holes in the face. And we'll fly over here to the second assembly area. So I'm just gonna reuse these plastic bins. Um, they're kind of a mismatch. There's some thicker ones and thinner ones. You can see that one blue one. And I'm just using screws and fender washers to lock these in. Uh, you can, some of you can already tell what I'm doing wrong here, so I am making a mistake, but I'll explain that in a second. And we'll get the final one in. And then I'll grab a marker, you know, double A, triple A, C, D, disc, and D. And it kind of messed up, so I'm going to grab some acetone and wipe those off. I wanted the blue one to be disc and the yellow one to be D's because disc is a little different. Bring you, and then I'll set the screws into the holes. Stick it up on the wall, get one of them in, check for level, and get the remaining in. Well, that was a good lesson in taking your time. Because uh, as I mounted this, I've got the buckets leaning backwards. It doesn't do any good. It should be leaning towards the person trying to get the batteries out. But that's okay, I can flip this whole thing upside down and remount these guys. And I'll do that very slowly and take my time. Thanks for watching.